Hey, this is Paul Solt from Super Easy Apps. Welcome back. We're gonna get started with our first Xcode project that we're actually gonna turn into a real app. So let's go ahead, let's create a new Xcode project. I want you to click on new Xcode project within Xcode, and then you can bring this up to the top or put it wherever you want. You can full screen it, or if you wanna watch this video sort of side by side, do whatever is gonna allow you to move forward some of my students like to pause and play the video as they're working so that they can catch up as I demonstrate stuff. So first things first, make your Xcode project. We are going to do a single view application for this tip calculator. It's gonna be a single screen. So you can sort of think of it as an app like, many good examples, kind of like settings. All of these are pretty much multi-screen applications on this simulator but we're basically creating a single screen. So that's what it means when we say that. So we're gonna choose that option and then we're gonna hit next. For this, we're gonna call this our tip calculator. And if you've set up your team, like I demonstrated in one of the lesson one videos, then you can select this so that you can actually put it onto your iPhone. You're gonna give it your organization name, which is just your name and then uh, organization identifier. This can be anything. It just needs to be unique, so just use your own value. Don't use mine. You can just write it similar to how I've written mine. And then we're gonna choose Swift. We don't need any of these check boxes, so we hit Next. With that, we're gonna put it into our Projects folder. Now, I create lots of projects, so this is a great place to put them. And as I go, I'm gonna be making versions of this so that you can start or stop using my source code or my design files as we go. So I'll have them numbered according to the video. I'm gonna set this up for a Git so that we can have tracking. I'm not necessarily gonna get into that right now. We are just going to create it. Okay, so doing that, you should see that this works. If this doesn't, watch my other video again and try and set up your account. This will allow you to build to your iPhone. My iPhone is connected over the Wi-Fi even though it's not showing the, the network icon, but I want to target the iPhone 8, which is this simulator over on the left. So we're gonna be just getting this set up and just making sure it works. And then in the next video, I'm gonna take you on a tour of actually adding the, the images to the screen. So your first priority is just to, to see a white screen here. That's gonna be your storyboard file. And just to prove that things are working, let's drag a label out and hit the run button again, and that should launch it on your device. Now, we don't have an app icon, so we're gonna make that app icon work. We are going to add the image assets so that we actually can have some interesting content on the screen, and that's all coming up in the next series of videos. Hey, this is Paul. Real quick before you go, I've got all the source code over here on the right. If you wanna download the source code, go to the link that's over on the right or down below. You can grab that code. If you like that, click the like button. Also, before you go, once you go to this site, you'll see a little form. If you fill that out, type your email address in here and click the download now button. That's gonna send you an email with all the source code. So just check your email in order to get started. All right, so this has got a lot of design resources from Sketch to PNGs to Xcode projects. It's gonna be very useful. Lastly, click the subscribe button, which is over my head. If you want to get updates when I have new videos, I'm gonna be posting regular content on a weekly basis. And then last but not least, just like this video if you found any of the topics that I talked about helpful. I'm gonna be showing you the next step in the next video. So let's go do that.